Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. My name is Francis and I am your student engineering mentor for today's video and today we're going to be talking about the different types of petroleum engineers. The oil and gas industry is very weird and complicated. You see already in the oil and gas industry there's three sub stages which is upstream, midstream, and downstream. And to give a general overview and to keep it simple, upstream is looking for the oil and bringing it out of the ground. Midstream is the more refinement, the more chemical processing of said oil. And then downstream is taking that refined oil and bringing it to the consumer for gas stations and petroleum products and the like. For the purpose of this video, let's focus on the upstream sector. So in the upstream sector, there's even more subcategories. There's probably more than what I'm mentioning in this video, but the way I understand it, here are the main ones. There's drilling engineers, reservoir engineers, production completions engineers, there is facilities engineers, and finally there is EOR or secondary recovery engineers. Each of these engineers depend on one another to have a successful operation. So drilling engineers, they work with drilling rigs, they work with drill bits and work in the field and operations like that. Reservoir engineers try to understand the reservoir's behavior and they try to use that information to develop an expectation because the production engineers develop production profiles and they write economics and make proposals to management and um, decide how the well will be completed. Then there's facilities engineers who use that to design a battery or a facility, more like a station, to house the amount of oil and optimize it so that they can bring that oil to the battery to sales. And finally, there is the EOR engineers that are essentially trying to increase the initial life of the well. And I bet you can tell from my explanation is that a lot of these engineers intersect because Let's say, for instance, the production engineer. They need to have the data from a reservoir engineer to understand what the production will be like so that they can propose to management. Same goes with the, uh, same goes with the drilling engineer. And the facilities engineer needs to design the facilities based on the production engineer's expectations. And the same goes with the EOR engineer because the EOR engineer needs to know the initial life from the reservoir engineer. So you can probably tell that a lot of these things are intersected. And that's the weird thing because even though you have masters in these particular subsections, they have to depend on each other for a successful operation because no one, no singular person can be masters of everything. And that's one of the weird things about the petroleum industry. So if you learned something from this video, please leave me a like in the description below so I can make more content just like this one. And uh, just to let you know, I'm posting new videos to this channel every single week. And if you want more uh, content like this, please hit the subscribe button and the little bell so you know when all of my videos are coming out. And we'll see you in the next video. So, bye guys.